This morning I get to fulfill a lifelong dream. I get to milk a cow, or at least attempt to milk a cow. We have about a 1,200 pound Holstein back there, and uh, a, a wonderful animal. I'm serious, I've not spent much time with cows, and uh, I, I think I will in the future, however. Uh, but um, we're going to milk one. Am I rambling? <laughs> Welcome back to the show. This is Joy the Cow. You know, you drive through the country, you see a lot of these things, but I thought we'd uh, take the opportunity to get a look at one up close here. And this is Joy's owner, Carol Garner. Where are you and uh, the cow from, Carol? We're from Cobosco, New York. And that's, I guess, up north a little that's bit? That's near Albany. And you, I'm guessing here again, that you have a dairy farm. We have a dairy farm, <laughs> right. And what kind of cow is Joy? Joy is a Holstein cow. How old is Joy? Joy is six years old. And how old will she get? She may get as much as 12. Yeah. How much does she weigh? She probably weighs between 12 and 1,500 pounds. Oh, ooh, she shifted there a second. That's okay. And how much milk will she produce in the course of a, a year? In a year's time, she'll make about 16,000 pounds of milk. Wow. And, and uh, what would that be in quarts? Uh... <laughs> yeah. Can you do fractions? <laughs> Not that fast. How's your long division? Um, All right, that's eight ton of milk. Eight tons of milk. Uh -huh. uh, now, you don't still milk cows by hand, do we you? We don't milk by hand. We use milking machines and a pipeline which means that the milk is never handled by hand uh -huh. from cow to the dairy. All right, sure. let's take a look at the, the electrical milking device. Um, no, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't use that at parties, do you? Uh, no. no. Okay, uh, I, don't, I don't know what that means, all right? I, um, uh, <laughs> now, uh, tell me some more about Joy here. This, what? Is this normal for a cow, this uh, stuff back here, this wing this here? This is uh, very normal for a typical Holstein cow. You like to have uh, what you call dairy character, good body, mm -hmm. uh, good udder, uh, depth of body, she's an, things like this she, to make her look real feminine. She, yeah, she uh, <laughs> she's, uh, seems to be very even-tempered, is she? She is pretty even-tempered. Okay, now how uh, often would you milk her if she were back? We milk her twice a day. All right, go ahead, Carol, and show me what we're gonna, what we're gonna learn here about a cow. Well, if you milk her by hand, you need to massage the udder momentarily to get her to let down the milk. And then you just start. Now, could you eventually fill up that bucket with her today? Yes, I could. And how big is that? What, what does that hold? I would guess that's a uh, three-gallon bucket. Good heavens. Oh, I'm sorry, we gotta move this, off, this device. All right, let me put this here. Hello, Joy, how are you? Can I get you a tissue? <laughs> <laughs> are cows very smart? Yes, they are. They're smart when you don't want them to be and dumb when you want them to be smart. Now, what does that mean? In other words, when you don't want them to jump the fence, they will, and mm -hmm. when you want them to come in the barn or come up the elevator while they act dumb. All right, yeah. bef <laughs> before I t do that, tell me about rumen magnets. What is a rumen magnet? Uh, frequently, we'll put very strong magnets that are about the size of your thumb down into a cow's stomach. Uh, when cows are grazing out in the pasture, they sometimes pick up bits of hardware, bits of fence wire, nails, things like that. Just trash that's trash. accumulated. Yeah. And the magnets will uh, uh, gather that trash and hold it right in their stomach so that they don't uh, perforate the stomach. Okay. Um, I'm going to try this. Do you mind, sure. Carol? All right. What do I need to do first? Just just touch her on the flank to start with so she knows you're coming to her. So try and make friends with make the friends cows. Here. Here. Right. Okay. That's just a good policy in life generally, isn't it? I think so. Oh, she's leaning again. That's all right. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Just come on down. Hello, Joy. Well, I'm talking to the wrong end. I realize that. <laughs> the matter with me. I. Uh, okay. It's very she warm. Kick. Very she nice. Won't. She won't kick. Have you no. ever been thumped by a cow? Boy, have I. Have you? <laughs> okay. Now, can I take a seat? Or yes, you can. Okay. Now, are we going to be able to see anything if I sit like this? Why don't you come over to the side a little bit? Okay. Here. A yeah. Little more. Oh, now I'm going to get it right in the head. <laughs> Okay. All right. Now what? I got this down, though, don't you think? Just take hold of it right at the base of the teeth there and clamp it off. <laughs> and then just start squeezing. Okay, do I have to use that one? You can use any one. You've got four choices. I got it, you do. Okay, now you, you, you squeeze here. Squeeze. Squeeze, all right. Just and grab pull. hold and squeeze hard. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have we heard that? <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what that means either. All right. 
Okay, squeeze hard. Oh, there. Yeah, there oh, you go. yeah. Now, if you can melt that smoke, you can do it in about three minutes. You can three minutes, your... the whole thing? Sure. Now, can you do two-handed, Cal? You can do two-handed. Or, I guess, I suppose well, there's a team competition, too, isn't there? <laughs> Certainly enough outlets. <laughs> <laughs> now, does the cow mind this at all? She probably enjoys it right now. Mm -hmm. Probably a little bit uh, uncomfortable because Whoops. she has such a full bag. <laughs> <laughs> that was the name of your last album, wasn't it, Frank? That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh, look out for my head there. This is actually a lot, uh, a lot uh, easier than I than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, at least you can sit down on the job. Yeah, yeah. I would guess that this is fun, isn't it? I mean, it's pretty therapeutic. I enjoy it. Yeah. Now, what happens to the milk after we get it in the bucket? If we were still doing it by hand, what would we do with the milk then? It would, if we are still using buckets, it oh would go boy. into milk cans, it would go to the milk plant where it is uh, refrigerated, uh, strained, pasteurized, homogenized, wow. refrigerated, put it in bottles and shipped down here for you to drink. Okay, I've got the hand of this. That's, there you go, Frank. <laughs> oh, easy. It's okay. <laughs> Okay. That's a lot of fun. That's just great. Get yourselves a cow, folks, and milk it. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carol. Thank you, Joy. I appreciate it. You're a sweetheart. We'll be right back with Will Slimer.